So relax. Judgment is of God. Look at, look at, look at a, a, a foolish BBC trying to tell us suddenly you don't preach Jesus in BBC. Stupid Christians are listening to that trash. I, I, I don't care whether it's real or not. I care less. Show me one day you have allowed any preacher to preach in BBC. In, in BBC. BBC. I'm telling you, ask, ask them. They don't preach Jesus in BCC or, or BBC. You know, I can't even call it because I care less about those channels. If Christians are wise, how dare you listen to a channel that never preached Jesus? A channel that never propagate Christ. Then suddenly they care for us to not tell us that the dead man is a false prophet. We are not stupid. We, I said we are not stupid. You don't have to tell us who is false. You don't have to tell us who is real. Leave us. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the summit of spirit. Don't insult our kingdom. In as much as we have childish Christians all over the world. Babies who don't know their left and right. They're coming to tell us that the dead man is a witch. Can't leave that man to rest. Even in his, in, in, in his grave, he's the great. That man is great. This is greatness to the highest. When he was alive, they hated him. They fought him. And suddenly he dies. They are still fighting him. What type of a man is this? That sounds more like Christ-like. I don't care what his previous histories were. This man called on the name of Jesus. He preached Christ. He led millions of people to Christ. He helped people. He didn't build a one billion sitters church. Rather, he used the money and helped the less privileged. So sit down. Sit down. He had sex. He had sex with women. He had sex with women. Uh, as though those women didn't enjoy the sex with time. <laughs> Fools. Foolishness. I'm not here to say he did it or did it, he, 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 he didn't. Do you know how many times women have tried to seduce me? Now, if I had fallen into it, tomorrow they will come and say it's, it's him. Do you know how many times women threw themselves to me? Made subjections. Even one came and brought her breast out. I had to run like Samson. He says, no, 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 no. Joseph. <laughs> Samson went into it. <laughs> one beautiful young girl came to my office and brought her breast out. You know, please, please, I love you. I said, Holy Ghost, fire! Do you know how many times top people in this country have sent young girls, they disguised them to come and see me, to seduce me, so that I can be the next big deal on the BBC. And Christians, listen to those chunks. A channel that never preached Jesus suddenly wants to convince you that a man of God is a witchcraft. Yeah. 
No, we are wise. We know better. I don't know him. I've never met him. But the way they attacked him, the idea, the whole idea of fighting this man, the Holy Spirit told me why. Because in the vision, he told me that this is the year of the dragon's war with the woman. Satanism, satanism, Satan and the world power have ganged up to unify one universal church. So they have released billions of dollars to castigate accused top reasonable reputable men of God across the world. What you're seeing on TB Joshua is just a trial and it's a, a foundation they are setting. Very soon, you will hear about the next one. Billions have been paid to these powerful TV stations. Other interviews are happening behind the scene. I know the next man they're about to pick up. There's another one coming. Watch. A big man of God that you know will be picked up again. So it's not about TV Joshua. The vision God showed me was the vision of the woman that was caught in adultery. The woman that was accused in adultery was not the very reason for which they wanted to kill her. No, that was a trap against Jesus. So don't think that TB Joshua is the reason for this castigation. No, the target is the church. And if the church falls so woefully, so weakly to this scam, the next one will rise. Yes, the woman committed adultery. Yes, the law was against her. But the whole scenario was not against her. It was to use it to hold Jesus, to trap Jesus. And this is the vision God showed me. The church must close their ears to nonsense. If our fathers have made a mistake, it is the responsibility of sons, of their sons, to cover their nakedness. I believe in the covering of fathers. We are a nation. We are a people. We are Christians. We are believers in Christ. We are royalty. We are peculiar people. We are sons of God. We are not of this world. The world has no right to judge us. The world has no right to judge our fathers. Even though you don't believe in TB Joshua, who asked you to believe in him? At what point, from Genesis to Revelation, where we are we commanded to believe in a man? He is just an instrument. Whether he was used by God or whatever, at least we knew he preached Jesus. And, and guess what? When Jesus was told that some other folks who were not of the fold of Jesus, we are preaching Jesus. Then Peter said, should we stop them? Jesus said, no. Don't stop them. Allow them. For they are not against us. They are for us. Even though if T.B. Joshua is a wizard, he didn't turn against Jesus. He preached Jesus. I didn't say he's a wizard. But even though you think he is, he preached Jesus. He healed the sick. He helped the poor. He stood for the needy. (laughs) 
people they are waiting for me to speak. I've spoken. Yeah. What will born servant of Christ say? Make sure you say what I say. If you cut nonsense and put what you want to show people, curse will be upon your generations. I didn't come to show mercy, for this is the hour of judgment. BBC, a warning. Don't you ever in the history of your existence open your dirty mouth to talk about men of God. Do your job as a, as a reputable or channel, whatever you broadcast. Leave, take your filthy mouth of men of God. Leave us to our struggles. Leave us to our faith. Leave us to our belief. You don't guarantee our eternal salvation. If BBC were fair enough, you should have at least had the wife interviewed alongside. All the points that you have validated on your channel, you should have also called some of the wise men. If you had five people you interviewed that spoke against the man of God, you also should find five people that should be able to respond to the things that these folks are saying. Then we should also look at the habits, the character, the flaws of these same people who accused the men of God. That is the integrity of a reputable broadcasting channel. If you were not paid, how could you show one side? Where is the fairness? Insulting a man that has died, that cannot defeat, that cannot defend himself. That means you're cowards. Cowards! Don't let me release fire from heaven. We fear no man. Enough is enough. I am the born servant of Christ. Try me. You see the wrath of God. Don't let me vomit. Because I'm angry. Suddenly, satanic channels want to tell us who is their first man of God. And fools that call themselves Christians believe and listen to those trash. So God Christians are listening. How many, how many heads of states have wrapped women? The issues that they have what we call immunity and power. How many men that are in power that have aborted children sleeping with small, small girls? Go catch them in the clubs, in their parties. Using their money to influence young girls. That's a form of rape. So you think you, you can hold somebody else's for the things that you're also guilty of. Jesus said, if you have no sin, be the first to cast the stone. Guess what? All of them went out. They were convicted. 
Hey, look at him. See, see what he's done. Crucify him. See what he's done. See what he's done. See what he's done. You, what have you done? I had once, you know, 